Dresden is traditionally a city of painters. Rao Fu is the only one among them with Chinese roots. After ten years of studying art at universities in Germany, Rao Fu has largely attached to German Expressionism and Romanticism. What he has implanted in Saxon Neo-Expressionism is tantamount to a live cell treatment. In his work, the narrative of the painting merges with the atmospheric space. His experimentation with painting materials and his all-encompassing range, from Chinese landscape painting to the magical triangle monk, Doig, Daniel Hichter, gives the viewer a parallel perspective, reminding the space conception in traditional Chinese landscape painting, Shanshui, which strives to immerse the viewer in nature. At the same time, a remembrance of Flemish art of the mid-1500s can also be found in Raufu's paintings, a period which the artist is particularly influenced by. In his landscapes, the artist inserts mysterious figures which help decipher a common story. The object and the image are mapping each other to get the most profound perspective. The artist calls them the inner landscapes. The harmony between Ralph's unique representation of landscape and his desire for the works reveal a style, a wish. To fashion something with the aim of harnessing the widest variety of pictorial categories, and interlinking a great deal with a great many to reach to the deepest part of the heart. Let the viewer explore each story in his paintings. Ralph's pictures do not speak so much to a cultural difference, but rather to the current discourse on cultural hybridity. Being on the offensive within variables, and roaring in a great voyage across the seas of colors, Rao Fu shows us that whatever is yonder is not far from us, but completely local and present. It is no longer about what is foreign and what is on. This is because there no longer exists, or rather, there never has been a pure, hermetic culture. That, having arisen sealed off and isolated from others, can be sure of its unchangeable identity. Rao Fu continuously searches for his inner voice. He believes that the story told in his painting is always connoted with the heart. His artworks are rooted in life itself and expand to a universal sensibility. In his artistic world, as he says, solitude and fragility, rebirth and death, joy and sadness, all have been eternal. <laughs>